Hi, it's Bill with Molly Aftermarket. I'm here today to talk to you about fuel filters and I'll talk to you a bit about how confusing the fuel filter offering is to the average person. There's a reason behind this confusion, but we'll take a few minutes here and just look at some filters, talk about filters, and see if we can understand why we have such an array of options. First of all, remember we have a couple different fuels to filter. Uh, gasoline for many of us, uh, E85, which of course is gasoline with alcohol added to it, or in many cases uh, we're filtering diesel fuel. So the fuel will affect the filter that we need. The next thing that affects the filter we need is often the vehicle space that we're given to fit the filter in. Here's a very good example right here. This is a 2014 Mercedes-Benz fuel filter, gasoline engine. It would be what we call an inline fuel filter, although it fastens to a housing here. You'll notice in inline filters, there's always an arrow telling you what direction the fuel flows. Because if you get these installed backwards, of course, fuel doesn't flow through here at all and the car doesn't run. But long cylindrical shape is probably the shape we were given by Mercedes-Benz that the filter had to fit in. So often we adapt the filter to the OE manufacturer's space considerations. Let me show you another unusual filter here. This one uh, doesn't look too spectacular. It's relatively small. Again, has a directional arrow. You might notice that Molly's put little plastic caps on either end. That's to keep dust from the box from getting in and contaminating the brand new filter. What's unusual about this filter is it fits the Crown Vic police interceptor engine. Very common police car here in the US. And of course those cars often run at high speeds. Lots of fuel flowing through there. So we need a very robust filter in order to filter that fuel. This one here is unusual. This is the Dodge Sprinter, a Dodge Sprinter filter. There's several options for the Dodge Sprinter based on what your engine option is when you buy one. This one, the option is it has a water level indicator inside of it. So we can make a connection to Chrysler's computer system. And as this filter filters water out in the diesel fuel and the water level starts to build in the filter here, it sends a signal back to the engine computer so we know when to change the filter. So again, quite unique and quite unusual. Speaking of diesel fuels and diesel filters, this pair here fits the 6.4 liter Ford Power Stroke diesel, very common pickup truck engine in the US. And these filters here are cartridge filters. They actually fit inside of a canister that's reused over and over again. And you'll notice they don't look the same. And the reason is one is the primary filter, one is the secondary filter. The primary filter filters out all the big stuff, you know, which would be particles of rust and so on. And then the secondary filter filters out all the fine particles. Now I do need to point out that occasionally filters are so complex that you'll get an instruction sheet in the box. And this is a good case right here. There's a number of O-rings involved with this and again reusable canisters involved. And if you don't follow the instructions carefully, you'll have diesel fuel running out on the ground when you finish the service. So that's very important. This is another unusual filter here in the fact that it has four fuel lines going in and out. It fits again a late model Mercedes-Benz and Chrysler engine, 2012 and newer. But again, we build filters to fit vehicles. It's not a one size fits all with us. It's a specific filter, specific application, specific vehicle. Finally, we often build filters again that have to fit in a certain location given by the manufacturer. This one would fit in a bracket like this. Fuel going in, fuel going out. We had to angle the lines here because of the space consideration by the manufacturer. But as we wrap up today, I wanted to point out to you with Molly and Molly filters, you'll always get the filter designed for your vehicle, not one that will fit, but one designed for your vehicle. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.